one smoke, you look fat ass bitch. Boy, I know you on that cap shit. And your girlfriend, yeah, that bitch. I could probably fuck that fat bitch. Look, Mo. I already know my mom watches all my videos, so I'm going to just say this in advance. Because I know if you knew about this shit, you will be tight. I just want to apologize for what you're about to hear. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the shit. Gang, 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 gang. Now, y'all niggas know usually with my story times, I always got y'all with pictures and videos, you know, evidence. So y'all niggas know I'm not capping. But, uh, so this one, I can't do it, bro, because these niggas are in, like, they're in college and shit, like, some of them niggas trying to go to the league, I ain't trying to fuck up nobody's chances just in case this video blows up, so I'm not gonna, you know, show, I'm not gonna show none of that shit, because, you know, I don't wanna fuck nobody's chances up, but, uh, without further ado, I'm about to get into this intro real quick, y'all fuck with a nigga, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, y'all should already do that, like, from the get-go, though, but, uh, yeah, let me tell y'all niggas about this shit that happened, alright, so, it was the summer, right? It was the summer from my junior year going into my senior year. So, at the time, I was, I was, you know, I played football. I've been playing football for like 10 years or whatever. So, I'm in this, like, little, this training, like, I have a, I like a personal trainer, but we have a team. So, we got a team of DBs, receivers, running backs, linebackers, you know, shit like that. And, you know, we're always, like, we, like, practice together and shit, you know, like, we're just getting ready. Like, we're all trying to get offers and shit. So... It's the summer, and everybody knows if you play sports, the summer is, like, when it's offer. Like, that's when offers are getting thrown out the ass because, you know, nigga, it's the summer. Like, you go to all, that's when all the camps and shit are. So, my trainer, he was having this thing called a bus tour, and he held this bus tour every fucking year, right? So, this bus tour, we would all get on this bus, right? And we would go, like, across the country. So, we'll go to, like, uh, we went to Detroit, we went to Ohio, we went to a whole bunch of states, so we had here like colleges like Toledo, Michigan State, University of Michigan, uh, Eastern Michigan, Toledo, you know, shit like that. And uh, we had the, the biggest camp though was called the Sound Mind Sound Body Camp. Now that camp, nigga, we talk about damn near every college D1 college is gonna be at that fucking camp, like the recruiter, like recruiters, head coaches. Everybody's gonna be there. So that's the big ass camp that we were all waiting for. They gave us like free cleats, uh, free Adidas shit, you know, shit like that. So that's our main goal. Like, yeah, we go to all these colleges, but the sound mind, sound body camp, that's where you know that's where the barbecue chicken is. That's where the like that's where we really in our shit. Like, that's where like you the coach, if you really in your bag, the coach gonna pull you to the side, he's gonna be like, he gonna offer you that scholarship. So mind you, we're all the way in Michigan and we're from Georgia. So we, you know, I don't know how long that drive. I think it was like, what, like eight hours maybe? I don't really remember. But we do that. So if we going all the way across the states, you know, we got to stay in the hotel, of course. So we're, we're booked in the hotel, but we had to move to another hotel. The first time we stayed in the hotel, it was like on the other side of like Detroit or some shit. And it was, I think it was in like Ohio maybe because, yeah, we had went to University of Cincinnati too. I almost forgot. So the first hotel we had, it was in uh, Ohio because we had went to the University of Cincinnati football camp and shit. So we was in Ohio for like a good, like a day. And then right after we got done that camp, we had went to Toledo and then we had fucking, you know, went to Detroit. So now... We're in Detroit, and we're at this uh, other hotel. It's way better than the one in Ohio and shit. So, we're sitting there at the hotel. You know, everybody's be chilling. Niggas got their PS4 and shit. You know, niggas talking to bitches. But you can't, you can only talk to a bitch for so long, bro. You know, eventually, them after, them after dark hours is gonna kick in. If y'all niggas don't know what after dark hours is, that's when you get horny as fuck. Now, I don't know about y'all niggas, but I'll be damned if I'm sitting here horny as fuck with a whole bunch of niggas. So, what the fuck? I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm like, bro, so, like, what's the move? Like, we need some hoes. So, buddy was like... Oh, I can get, he was like, cause he went to this shit last year. So he was like, last year what we did was we went on Backpage. So I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is Backpage? Bro, Backpage is a fucking, like, it's a Craigslist. But they have a section to where you can like, you know, bitches is selling pussy and shit. So I'm like, nigga, y'all niggas engaged in prostitution? He was like, bro, don't say it. He was like, bro, don't say it's prostitution, but like, bitches is selling pussy. So I'm like, that's prostitution. He was like, no, bitches is selling pussy. So I'm like, oh, all right. So we go in there and we talk to like 10 bitches, bro, because I'm trying to find the right one. At this time, I'm still a virgin, bro. I'm still a virgin, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm about to get right. Watch this. So we talking to all these bitches. The first bitch we call, I'll never forget this, bro. We picked up, we called this one bitch. You know, she looking good in the pics and shit. She looked clean. And these niggas got me calling on my phone because I think their parents, I like, used to watch like the phone bill. So they don't know, like, they'll be like, who are you calling this shit? So I was, I didn't give a fuck. So I call her. 
And I'm doing all the talking, bro. I put on my little, my deep ass voice every time niggas that do talk from your chest. Cause you know, that you gotta, you know, seduce the bitch. So I'm sitting here like, yeah, I'm doing all this talking and shit. The only thing I can remember this bitch saying was, yeah, I'm about that shmoney. I swear to God, if one of these niggas watch this video, you will know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about when that bitch was like, yeah, I'm about this shmoney. So that's, that shit said, that, when she said that shit, that shit turned me off. My dick went instant, that shit went instant gummy worm, my nigga. I was like, nah, this bitch, like, uh uh-uh. That bitch, uh uh-uh, I ain't fucking with that shit. So they like, all right, we hung up and shit. We calling these other bitches. This is when the shit happens. We found the perfect bitch. I will never forget who this girl is. I'm going to tell y'all her name. I'm not making no fake names in this video, bruh. Nah, her name straight up is Bianca Blue, nigga. I'm going to have it right here on the screen right now. Bianca Blue with like a few X's and shit. So we call her. I I, I call her. She already sounding cute as shit. So I'm like, oh, okay. She, She sounding good. So we talking this shit. I'm like, yeah, like. Like, what's up? Like, I don't know how to talk to prostitutes, bruh. So I'm sitting here like, the fuck going on? Mind you, we are all like 17. It's like, I think the lowest age that was there was 16. And like, mostly everybody was 17. I think it was like, maybe a few 18-year-olds, bro. So we all sitting in the hotel room. It's like, it's probably like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. But that's not after dark hours. After dark hours, is like 11, 12 o'clock. So we just trying to get this shit ready to go because, nigga, like, it, you don't want to call late at night. So, we're talking to her and shit. So, I'm like, I, I want my dick sucked. I want her to kiss my dick. I want to kiss the tip and shit. So, I'm like, yeah, like, how much is, you know, to, like, suck my dick and shit. So, she's like, $50 an hour. I'm like, damn. I ain't gonna hold you. I had, like, $200 on me. But I'm like, $50 an hour. Like, I was I was expecting her to say some shit, like, $20 an hour. Like, $20, like $20 for me to suck your dick or some shit. One, I wasn't expecting her to say by the hour. Like I told y'all, I never did this shit before, bro. It's back page. I, I didn't even know it was, like, a prostitute. I thought you, like, found a prostitute, like, on the corner of the, on the street or some shit. I didn't know you could get these bitches online. But they shut down back page because of the prostitution shit. So, she like, yeah, $50 an hour. So, I'm like, damn. I'm like, hell no. Nah. I was like... I was like, you gonna have to show me, like, can I get some proof? Like, this shit, like, you charging fifty thousand dollars but this shit could be whack. But mind you, the whole, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not talking like how I'm talking right now. I was talking smooth, like, I was, like, like I was, like, really, like, smooth talking and shit. So she was, like, so she started laughing. I'm in my head, I'm looking at my niggas, and I'm looking at them, like, bro, what the fuck is so funny? And she was, like, she was, like, uh, did you not read my bio? And I'm, like, yeah, like, what's so special about it? She was, like, you could look me up on the hub. I said, the hub? She said, yeah, porn hub. I'm like, what you talking about? So she was like, hey, I'm about to send you a link. So she sent the link uh, to my phone. Doo-doo. So I click on the link. And I'm watching the video. I, I look at her and I'm like, all right, she not ugly. But she she looked better than I expected. So I'm sitting here like watching the video. It's like 10 seconds go past. This is all I hear, bro. And when I heard this shit, I knew if I had got this bitch to suck my dick, I was going to go into coma. Listen to this is what I heard, bruh. Welcome to WayneWorld.com. <laughs> yes, Mo. Yes, Mo. That's what I fucking heard. When I heard that shit, I almost dropped my phone. Look, Mo, I was so fucking shook. I damn near hit it with the goddamn Stephen A. Smith. I was just like this right here. So my nigga, this is when I was like, all right, hold up. So I'm sitting here talking to my nigga. I had put her on mute and I was like, bro, what y'all niggas trying to do? I already know what I want. I want her to suck my dick. I was like, I'ma pay my I'm gonna pay my 50, but I'm not paying for y'all niggas. I'm gonna get my whole hours worth. I don't give a fuck if I nut within 30 seconds. She gonna keep sucking my dick for that whole hour. I don't give a fuck. So they like, bro, like, they're like, all right, bet. So they was trying to run the train and shit. They was like, Seagull, bro, like, let's run the train on this bitch. She can suck your dick. I'm like, all right, look, so this is what we finna do. Because first of all, I'm not running the train on no hoe. I'm not finna be in an intimate state of mind with a whole bunch of niggas with y'all dicks. I'm not finna be in an intimate mind with, like, with y'all niggas, bro. I'm not finna do that shit. If y'all niggas run trains, that's you, but I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't do that shit, man. I don't, I don't want my dick around another nigga when I'm in the intimate, like, when I'm, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want my dick hard around no other niggas. But uh, they like, I'm like, look, y'all can run the train, but she gonna suck my dick first. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my nut off, and then y'all can do you. So they like, I bet. So I, so they was like asking how much it is, uh, you know, for us to run a train. So I took off of me. I was like, yo, Bianca. I was like, Bianca. 
She was like, yes. I was like, how much is it for my niggas to run the train? She was like, how many is there? So I like look at them and they was like four. And I was like, four. She was like, God damn. She was like, that's going to be like 200. I was like, a piece? She was like, nah, like 200 total. So I'm like, damn, them niggas getting charged $50, uh, like $50 too? So I'm like, I bet. So I was like, she said $250 a piece for all y'all niggas. So them niggas was like, I bet. So they was they was really, they was about to do that shit. I was about to get my dick sucked. They was about to run a choo-choo. They was about to run a train on that bitch. So I said, I bet. I'm about to call you back. Let me get this shit together. So boom, we hang up the phone. And now we looking at each other like, because we in a hotel, mind you. Our head coach said, if y'all niggas do some shiesty shit or y'all niggas get caught doing some shit y'all not supposed to be doing, and if them uh the people at that front desk come and talk to me and y'all find out y'all doing some shit y'all not supposed to be doing, I'm going to send y'all ass back home on the bus. On the Greyhound bus. So I'm like, damn, Mo. Like, we all paid about, you know, like, a band for this football camp and shit. We all trying to get offers and shit. I was like, how would that shit look if, you know, we got sent back home and, and you know, because we trying to sneak a prostitute in the hotel. So don't let that fool you, though. We were still finna sneak that bitch in. So we looking like, how can we sneak her in? And they was like, they was like, it's a side door over here. Me, we on the third floor. So it's not like we on the first floor. We can sneak it through the window. So we really sit here plotting, like, how we can get this bitch into the hotel. Long story short, Mo, we had, we was damn near about to risk it all. We was about to sneak this bitch in, like, have her dress up like a nigga with a hoodie and shit on. And we was about to get this shit popping. So, I'm like, all right, look. This is when the post-nut trauma kicked in, because, you know, I was horny as fuck. So, you know, when you horny, you, you don't give a fuck. You're, you know, you all about satisfying your dick. So, all that shit had wore off, and I wasn't horny no more. So, I'm like, look, bro. I was like, we all done paid a band for this shit. This logical Seco talk. I was like, look, we don't all drop the band on this shit. And we all in our bags. We all trying to get an offer and shit. Like, why are we gonna sit here and throw this shit away for a bitch? Like, what what's up with us? Like, and then they was like, they was like, damn, you right. Like, that's facts, bro. Like, what's going what's going through our heads? And I'm like, man, I don't know, but like we was really finna sit there and throw that shit away, bro. Cause we horny as shit. Like we don't get pussy already, my nigga. And they're like, facts, facts, facts. You right, you right. Like, good looks, bro, good looks. So I'm like, yeah. So, I ain't never called a bitch back, but she started calling my phone because I guess she really needed that money, bro. I guess she was really looking forward to that 250 So, she calling my phone. do 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 And I'm not answering, Mo. I'm not answering. So, I guess she found out, like, we not doing that shit, so she stopped calling. Mo, I was really about to fucking get my dick sucked by a porn star, bro. I really was about to get my dick sucked by a porn star. I'm not gonna put the link to her video, but I'ma type her name in there. All you gotta do is go on the hub and type that video in. Like type her name in. And it's you gonna you gonna you gonna hit you gonna find that shit. Bro, like she was really like like a human vacuum cleaner, mo. Like she was really sucking the life out of this nigga. And I promise you, if she sucked my dick, I was going in the coma. On God. But uh look, that's the story time, bro. Like, that's literally how this porn star changed my life. Y'all I know y'all niggas wanted me to fuck this bitch, but bro, I had that post nut clarity came in, bro, and I had to think logical. Did I really want to get sent back home and then my mom find out I was over here about to spend my money on a prostitute to get my dick sucked? How would that look on me? How would that look on How would that look, bro? Thank God that post nut clarity came out. I know y'all niggas wanted me to say how I fucked this bitch and shit. But yes, that nigga, I came, I came out of that uh, little bus tour camp with no offers, my nigga. I had like a few coaches, I like, give me their cards, and I was talking to them and shit. I, they was on the verge of recruiting me, but I left that bitch with no offers, my nigga. No porn star sucking my dick, but she was about to suck the skin off my dick, nigga, and some more shit. But uh, yeah, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, comment, all that other shit, gang. I'm out. Kiss my dick, nigga.